my MT500. I've had it six months now. I think it's time for a review. Here you go. One reasonably standard MT500. Like I say, I've had it six months. I've done 2,000 kilometres. The, um, the mileage, as it were, is in case. So uh, that's the way I'm working it. The speedo is in actually miles per hour, but the uh, the measurement is in kilometres. <coughs> Excuse me. It's more or less standard. Like I said, the the bags aren't. They I have got the originals, but um, I didn't want to waste them, so I put those cheap ones on. Do the same job. Uh, when I bought it, it was a non-runner. Um, the stator high-speed side was knackered, and the carb was a right mess. Got a new stator from Rex's Speed Shop, they did a great job, and um, the car was rebuilt by Sportax. Um, that was £36, very well spent. Great bloke, really knows what he's doing. Uh, obviously there was uh, servicing and all the rest of it, uh, got the parts for that from um, Force Motorcycles, they're another great group, they know what they're doing, and you can get more or less everything for it which is uh, handy. It's a Rotax 500 engine in a British frame. Um, I think it's CCM make them, or made them. The uh, front brake is uh, standard and complete rubbish. Uh, apart from that, it's a really nice bike to ride. you just got to remember to give a four second gap instead of a two second. Right, let's give it a go at starting. It's cold. Um, <coughs> it starts reasonably well. If it doesn't start reasonably well, there's actually something wrong. Uh, last time it was the, uh, the it was the spark plug, the gap had closed up. So really, uh, I learned from that. If it doesn't start within about five kicks, there's something wrong. There's plenty of videos of these things starting on uh, on uh, YouTube. Anyway, let's give it a go. As you can see, that was uh, first kick, not bad at all, um, not usually that good, it's usually second or third, must be playing out for the camera. One of the things you've got to remember is this eye sight here, as you turn the thing over you will see, possibly, if it's lucky, the compressor. white flash that came through, that's top dead centre. You get it to that and you give it a damn good hit. And that usually gets it going, as you saw. They're also a bit of a pig to get on the main stand. And again, that's another one of those uh, little tricks you have. So, Make
as you can probably see, I'm not that good at off-road. So a bit of a wobble going on there, but it was it was great. The rear tire is not great for off-road either, because it's the original, original army one covered in cracks. I don't think it gives much. Well, that was fun. A little bit on road now. You got a chance to see what it accelerated like. The top speed's around. Uh, they say around about 90, but I don't really want to do that. I've got my uh, Ducati for doing 90. Not that I would in Britain, of course. Uh, right, let's, uh, let's do a little bit of on road. just seen is one of the little faults this bike has which is just stopping when it's a tick over you kind of get used to it but you don't really want to be doing it when it's um, that set of lights or something so with it being a left hand kickstart it's an absolute nightmare to get off find a top dead center and uh, get it going again apart from that it's it's actually a very nice bike it uh, puts a smile on my face, which is the important bit. Um, it's cheaper than the Japanese equivalents, the XTs, the SRs, that kind of thing. They're, they're getting stupid money. And for use as a motorbike, if you're going to go and buy an XT and spend a huge amount of money on restoring it, trying to find the parts and all the rest of it, you won't really want to go and throw it at the countryside. Whereas this, you would and I intend to next year. The uh, parts 
very easy to get. There's uh, Force motorcycles, they're really good. Um, Sportex, I think I've uh, mentioned them, they're great. Um, I've got uh, the electric parts from um, Rex's Speed Shop, which were also very good. There seems to be plenty of parts on eBay as well. And of course there's the uh, MT Owners Group, which is uh, on on the computer is well well worth uh, looking at if you're interested in these. It was uh, definitely been one of my better mistakes buying one of these. I actually quite enjoy it and been a great introduction to uh, knobbly tyres.